Welcome back, everybody, and a big thank you to my recent new subscribers. You guys are the reason that I even do this, and I appreciate you immensely. I'm a huge Star Wars fan, in case you didn't already know, which is highly unlikely. <laughs> and I want to try my hand at a Star Wars theory video. Except I'm going to do everything off the top of my head. I'm not going to pause the recording and then stop and come back to it. I'm not going to have notes in front of me. It's just going to come right off the top of my noggin. It's not going to be long. There are a lot of blanks that need to be filled in. But I think I may have at least a decent outline as to how Palpatine could return in some form for Episode 9. So let's just get to it. So, first off, I think... He's going to be a sort of force haunting, if you will. And he's attached to the wreckage of the second Death Star. I think in the trailer that the wreckage is actually on a planet that is in the Endor system. And after it exploded, a large remnant of it ended up in the ocean of this planet after gravity did its work over time. Now, just while I'm thinking of it, I think there is some connection between Snoke and Darth Sidious, and that's because Snoke has that black ring. He's wearing it on his hand, you see it, it's mentioned in the visual dictionary or whatever it's called for The uh, for the Last Jedi, And because I'm not really 100% sure of the name of that book, but it has its own section, um, and it's got glyphs on it that are said to be of the Dwarty. And outside of Palpatine's office in the prequels, there are statues of the Dwarty. So there's some connection there between those two characters through the Dwarty and through the ring. And interestingly enough, and some people forget this, the code name for Episode 9 while they were filming was Black Diamond. And that's exactly what kind of diamond is in that ring on Snoke's hand. So that's something to keep in mind. It's pretty interesting. I mean, I, maybe... That ring allows a spirit to inhabit a body? Who knows? You know, maybe it's like a horcrux. I, God knows what it is. But I think it has a role. I do. I, I think that there's something to it, and that we're going to find out in Episode Nine what that thing is. Now, if Palpatine's attached as a haunting, as a spirit of, of, of sorts, to the second Death Star, this would explain where he's been since Return of the Jedi. He can't go anywhere. And perhaps the First Order or even the Knights of Ren or somebody else has devised a plan to extract his spirit from the wreckage. Or, or just maybe they're, they're, they're finding their way there for some reason. Maybe not to extract it or use it, but maybe, maybe it's something that I haven't thought of yet, that I haven't come up with. It's basically the tomb of Palpatine. And I'm not really sure what they do when they get there, if they get there at all. and But we keep hearing about this MacGuffin that changes throughout the movie. So maybe the Resistance, the heroes of the film, learn of this plan, whatever it is that uh, either the Knights of Ren, the First Order, or someone else has come up with, and the MacGuffin starts off as a race to stop them. But then they don't succeed in stopping them. And the MacGuffin then becomes having to stop that plan now that it has actually taken effect. So maybe they find their way there, they're able to resurrect him or do something with his force energy. Maybe it's something that we just haven't thought of, something more interesting, which is what I would hope for. And the MacGuffin then shifts to them having to stop this third threat, because that's what we keep hearing about in the leaks, is the third threat and the changing MacGuffin. So, eh, you know, I'm not really sure what they could do so that it's not stupid. But I think they've come up with something interesting. You know, they've pulled some some ideas from, from the concepts for The Force Awakens, like the, the Death Star wreckage is actually in the concept art, like many people have already seen by now. And it seems like they're they're pulling things out of uh, Legends canon, which is great. You know, bring some of that back in. Or maybe Palpatine has been Plagueis this whole time, and Snoke was Plagueis. Maybe that it's just been Plagueis this entire time. So, I don't know. But I think I'm on to something. I think perhaps he's a force haunting. 
And maybe he's got a more minimal role in this movie than we even realize. And that this is kind of a red herring. He'll make an appearance of some kind, whether in a, a hologram form that's left over in some vault somewhere on, on, on some planet. That somebody happens to stumble upon, or and maybe the third threat isn't Palpatine at all. Maybe the third threat is Plagueis. You know, maybe, maybe it's not Snoke. Maybe it's not Palpatine. Maybe it's not even Plagueis. Maybe it's just something we have no idea about yet. I just I want to be surprised, and I want to really enjoy what they come up with. So, short but sweet video. I think I'm on to something, though. I think. Palpatine is dead. Ian McDermott said it himself. He's dead. But obviously he's making some kind of appearance. Or maybe we're going to get some scenes in the uh, the netherworld. You know, the, uh, the, the world between worlds. That would be pretty interesting too. But how that would tie into what's happening in our reality, or their reality I should say. You know, this physical plane. I'm not sure how they tie that in. But to sum it up, I think Palpatine is going to be a force haunting of some kind that is attached to the Death Star. And I think that perfectly explains why he cannot go anywhere and where he's been since Return of the Jedi. Because people have been saying, well, if he's been alive this whole time, then what's he been doing? Just hiding in the shadows? That's kind of stupid. It's like, well, yeah, that is stupid. But maybe he's been hiding in the shadows because he has become the shadows. Maybe he can't really go anywhere. And for some reason, everyone's trying to make it to where his spirit has latched onto for some reason. Maybe it has something to do with his contingency plan. Maybe he even... this is Now, this is another thought. Maybe he completed his master's work, Darth Plagueis, and figured out how to cheat death. But it's not in a way that we understand yet maybe it's kind of like how the jedi can become force ghosts and it seems like the sith can't maybe he figured out a way to remain in some in-between dimension that allows him to even at times have influence on the physical world so just some ideas just some thoughts i think he's a force haunting that's I, i'm going with that theory until another trailer comes out or a significant leak or anything that could change the way I think about this, that's what I think is going on. And uh, stay tuned for my next video, because I'm going to explain something extremely interesting about Rey, and how her parents, being nobodies, may be the most interesting theory of all, because maybe she doesn't have any parents to begin with, which would easily make her parents nobodies, because they don't exist. Thanks for watching, guys. Check out the next video. Listen to my podcast, Podcast Zero, anchor.fm slash podcast zero. You can find it on Google Podcasts, Spotify, Breaker, Pocket Casts, and other platforms. Take it easy, guys.